Hi, I'm Sarah Hunter. Welcome to my channel, Mental Beauty. If you're here, you're looking for exercises on how to start feeling good from the inside out. Grab your journal and stay tuned. Today I'm gonna to walk you through what's called the remote control exercise. And what this is designed to do is take an experience of being stressed, triggered, panicked, and bring down the reactivity. Okay, so I encourage you to give this exercise a try, see if it connects with the way that your brain works, and then you'll be able to put this in your toolbox for ways to help you cope. First off, let me introduce you to kind of what we're gonna be doing and the power of the mind, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes, and I want you to imagine a car. Now I want you to turn the car purple. Now put some yellow polka dots on the car. Gently flip it over onto its side. And now hang the car up from a telephone wire. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> kind of crazy, right? What the power of our mind can do and what we can do with pictures. And in our mind's eye, it actually seems pretty realistic. Similarly, we are gonna do something with your emotions when you are feeling them the most. So the first thing I want you to do is identify a situation that's going on in your life right now that's mildly disturbing. And imagine a scale from zero to 10. Zero is where it's completely neutral, it's not disturbing at all, and 10 is the most disturbance that you can imagine. Okay, so here's where we're gonna start playing around a little bit. First thing to do is to come up with an image that best captures this situation for you. And once you have that, I want you to start taking notice of this image. And then pull out your imaginary remote control and we're gonna start to play around. First off, I want you to notice if it's in black and white or color. If it's in black and white, go ahead and change it to color. If it was already color, go ahead and switch it to black and white. The next thing I want you to notice is whether or not your image is moving like a movie or if it's still like a snapshot. Whatever it is, do the opposite. Turn it into a movie or make it into a snapshot. Is this image blurry or is it in focus? Blur it out or bring it into focus. Is the image near to you or is it far away? Whatever it is, do the opposite. Do you see yourself in this image or are you looking at the image from afar? Either take yourself out or put yourself in. Is the image bright and vivid or is it dim and low light? Whatever it is, turn the dial and do the opposite. Are there any sounds associated with this image? If so, play around with it. Turn up the volume, speed up the tempo, or turn down the volume or turn it off completely or slow the tempo way down. If there's no sound associated, go ahead and enter in maybe one of your favorite songs. Maybe change the sound into something like Daffy Duck's voice or Goofy or another favorite cartoon character. Is the image in three-dimensional, 4D? Is it completely flat? Change the dimension. And notice if this image takes up your entire visual field or if it's concentrated or located in one particular area. Put a frame around it. In your mind's eye, go ahead and take 10 steps away from this image. Flip the frame upside down. Put it inside of a box. Put the box inside of a bubble. And go ahead and put that bubble inside the purple car with yellow polka dots. And then with your thumb, go ahead and smudge out 
any remainder of this image until there's nothing left. And then take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to blow any remnants away like it's dust. And then open your eyes. And just notice how you feel. Check back in with that, that original annoying event or circumstance that's going on in your life. And notice if the number has shifted at all along that scale. Did it stay the same? Did it go up or did it go down? For some people, this is a really powerful tool to help lower anxiety levels or stress levels or when they're feeling triggered by something. So just make a mental note. Was this helpful? Was it not? I'd love to hear your experience with this. And if you have any comments, be sure to leave them below. Until then, I will see you next time.